the mass was the focal point in my life and that probably uh, molded me uh, so that uh, when I finished uh, elementary, my parish priest said, I think you will be a good priest later. You know? So I said, uh, we'll give it a try. And um, when I was just about uh, getting ready to go to the minor seminary in Dumaguete City, near our island of Sikihor, uh, one summer, uh, May of 1968, the late Bishop Tutud, who was just newly uh, ordained as bishop and uh, auxiliary bishop of uh, Il, um, Dumaguete, came to visit us. And he recruited me to become a missionary. You know? uh, he was a missionary before he became bishop, and he wanted me. I don't know what, uh, what uh, made him uh, think of me as a good prospect for the uh, missionary priesthood. And so when he said, would you like to become a missionary uh, like me in the future? I readily said yes. There was no question about it. And uh, his, uh, the, the only thing that uh, he required was that I ask permission from my parents. And uh, they gave me their full support. And so in the year 2000, I was appointed as prelate of Marawi. Um, I never realized that I would be following the footsteps of that fellow who wore big, big shoes, you know, and I'm, I'm wearing that shoes now. Uh, it feels so big, really, considering the responsibility of Marawi in a situation where we are now. Marawi is at war. He's uh, being besieged by terrorists. For more information on the priesthood or religious life, log on to EWTN.com slash religious life.